Hi, this is Erin from the Science Self Center team here at the St. Louis Science Center with an experiment that you cannot try at home. It's an experiment that I'm testing out for an off-site program, but I thought it might be fun, so I'm going to show it to you anyways. What I have here is just some water, but I added some cabbage juice to it. We just boiled a red cabbage and then used the water uh, because it can show whether something is an acid or a base or neutral. So right now it's just this kind of medium color because it's just in water. But that might change when we add something to it. What we're going to add is a chunk of sodium. So not a combination of things, but just regular old sodium metal, which reacts with water. Usually you can put things in water and nothing happens, but sodium actually reacts with water really quickly, and it creates hydrogen gas and heat. And, well, if, if you don't know what happens when there's a lot of heat and a lot of hydrogen gas, we're going to show you. So now I'm going to put this little chunk of sodium in the water with the indicator and we'll see what happens. You can see that it's turning green because it's turning it into an acid, or into a base, excuse me, the opposite of an acid. And it's getting the sodium so hot that it's melting a little bit and turning spherical. And when it gets hot enough, the hydrogen actually combusts and flames up. So, as you can see, what used to be a bit on the pink side turned this yellowish-greenish color from the base that was made. A base is the opposite of an acid, and a basic solution is al also called an alkaline solution, which is why sodium, along with the other things in the same column of the periodic table, are called alkali metals, because they make an alkaline solution when they're mixed with water. And like I said, they also make hydrogen, which can combust.